I'm Wade. Welcome to Wade's Room. This is my first Nike SB ever. And I think it's just such a good model that I had to share it with you guys. As you can see, silver box and super green. <laughs> Absolutely love them. The model is the Air Classic SB. The original model that they used and beefed up to turn into the Air Classic is the Tennis Classic. Uh, they have brought that back in a Supreme collab, but this one right here, guys, and the at that time they were making the Air Classic SB. I feel it is one of the most slept on models. There was a lot of different SB models at that time, and I feel with the, the rise of Nike SB right now, you know, getting a lot of shine and a lot of hype again, I feel that it's important to shed light on other models that were equally as good as the Dunk, and sometimes the releases and quality were actually better, guys. Uh, again, the Air Classic SB, you had the Harbor, the Zoom Tray, shout out to Tripwear Tide. Thank you, Kevin, I really appreciate that again. Um, just, you, you had uh, Team Editions, you just, I mean, you had the, the Verona. There, there were so many good models that had so many good releases, guys, that I think a lot of them, you know, again, need a little bit of shine. So again, you see them, they're beautiful. I'll definitely get into the review, but I want to give you just a little bit of background into the shoe since it is my first Nike SB. So it was 2005 when these released and um, was living here in San Antonio, Texas. I found these at uh, Ingram Park Mall at the Fast Forward that was located there at that time. I wasn't planning on spending any money. I was just kind of making my rounds, killing some time in between classes. I was uh, going from downtown back to the main campus. So stopped in, saw them in the mirror or in the, the display window and just stopped. Went in there, they had one size left, a size nine. I was an eight and a half, but I had to have them. Again, not gonna front guys because I'm just not like that. At the time they had layaways and I put these babies on layaway. Even though retail was only 55 bucks, I only had like 50 bucks to get me through the rest of the week. It was a Wednesday or something like that. So when I got paid on Friday, went back, took them out, after that, the next paycheck, I went back and got the Dunk High. It was a uh, peanut butter and chocolate. There was also a load that was reversed. Love that pack. Still looking for that one. That one was also in a nine. That's just all they had, guys. And at that time, I just had to have both pairs. I, I love them. I, I had to, again, this is an eight and a half. It's not a nine. So I sold that nine, ended up buying this one. A couple of years ago, I would say maybe four years ago, on eBay for $55 retail that was shipped. So definitely super happy about that. I'm glad to have them back into my collection. I'm always on that hunt for that Dunk High though. But yeah, so I bought these in 05 at a time when I was really collecting Jordans. I was uh, doing a, I had to buy two, one to play in, one to wear. That was just my thing. I wanted to play in every Jordan. So Collector did a write-up and ranked every one of them. And I wanted to see where each one really held up for myself. So that's just where my head was at at the time. But these and the peanut butters, very, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, after I bought those peanut butters, maybe six months later, fast forward, closed. So I didn't know where, where else to get SBs till I found good times uh, during the black box era. And then I started moving on my Jordans and really buying SBs hard. It was just something different. Now, no, nobody really had them at that time, guys. The price point was so, so affordable for the quality. It was just un, it was un, unfathomable at that time, you know, because I was spending all this money on Jordans, you know, they're 150, 170, whatever, you know, buying the lifestyle releases. It was just, fuck, I was buying two of them. And I could buy two of these for one Jordan, you know, it was just... <clears throat> And nobody was wearing these, you know, it was just, it was just that, that feeling that I had when I was a kid. It just gave me so much excitement, waiting in line. Uh, these I didn't wait in line for, but once Black Box came around, I was waiting in line every release. Uh, it was so much fun. And this was that pair that started it and really just got me into the, you know, into Nike SB. And always very, very happy to have walked by and seen the display that day and had just... A little extra cash. The rest of the week was tight, but it was well worth it. I was super happy with my purchase and still super happy with these today. I love them. And um, I don't want to keep you, keep you waiting too much longer. So let's get into that review. Okay, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into this review, guys. Going to move these just over to the side. 
and bring the box right up here into the front. So here is the top of the SB box. You notice that there is no SB here. That didn't come out till black box era, guys. You see the indention? This box has usually been at the bottom of the stack. It's just a sturdier box, but I've actually recently had to move it because of the indention. I'll give you a good look at the side here, the bottom. Just want to give you a good little 360 of the silver box in case you haven't seen one before. Right there and right up here at the top guys front of the box so usually right here you have a tag that has a price this price was $55 here it just gives you the name of the shoe air classic SB and then my size size eight and a half go ahead and open it up for you guys right away you see the green wood grain print that is very iconic with the silver box you got your wood grain paper you do see the two gallon Ziploc bag. I store all my shoes in the Ziploc bags. I keep them open, I do not close them. And then the paper is to stuff all the toe boxes of my shoes to prevent creasing. This is just the way I store all my shoes, guys. Okay, so now that you've seen the box, go ahead and move that over, bring over the shoes. Absolutely beautiful green, very vibrant. So let me just get into the review, guys. I'll go ahead and just uh, turn this one here to the side. So what I really love is not only how rich the suede is, but how much texture it has, guys. It's very nappy, but not over nappy. It, it, it's found that very good medium in between and just has a real good evenness throughout the shoe. Sometimes this nappy suede can be very spotty, like sometimes just on the toe box and the tongue and not on the side panels, and that can be very frustrating. This is just really even all the way around. I love the tonal green stitching as well. Like that, you know, just kind of subtle subtleness of the shoe right there, you know, nothing too fancy like by going with black stitching or anything like that. I love the different hue of the laces to the actual shoes, guys. It's a little brighter but darker at the same time, <laughs> uh, oddly enough, but I really like the contrast, even though it is green on green, it gives it a little bit more depth. The tongue here, guys, super, super puffy. I really love it. I know this area may look stiff, but it is not. I can wear these with low socks, high socks, but don't go too low on the socks, guys. The inside right here isn't necessarily like a suede, but the cloth is a little, a little thick in terms like sometimes it can pull your sock down if it is a little bit too low. Uh, the swoosh guys are really really nice suede very thick. I love the tonal again black stitching, but one of my favorite details is this just five green stitch right here. It's just so nice so subtle my eyes always get drawn to it and again i love how it's right here across the tag on uh, the tongue and you can see again it says air classic sb i love the back you got a nice same rich dark uh black suede as the swoosh i love the embroidery on it very very nice and well done give you a look at the inside of the shoe the gum sole magnifique can't go wrong with a gum sole boom 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 and i'll give you a good good little look at the insole you can see my shoe trees are from Ikea. Very inexpensive and work very well. So here's the insole, guys. Doesn't show a lot of signs of wear, just kind of up here up front. Nike SB is still visible. Zoom Air still alive and kicking. Got a lot of bounce to it, which is really nice since these did release in 05. A good way to tell, guys, when the shoe releases, if you lift up the tongue, right here inside, guys, at the very top, it's gonna give you some numbers. The first two numbers, are usually the date when it comes to older shoes it, in 05 they were already putting the date at the bottom of this barcode it's very kind of hard to see but you see it says 072905 and then right there again 05 older shoes don't have this date at the bottom and usually just have this car uh, barcode or code up top and that's a good way to tell guys but yeah, there it is. I mean, the Air Classic SB, very slept on model. This colorway, I think, is one of the best that released for that, that time period. Again, silver box, guys. Absolutely amazing. And that's that review. Okay, with everything wrapped up, guys, I just want to remind you to please like, subscribe, click the notification bell. If you guys have any questions about this shoe or if any other colors in this shoe or maybe where to buy them or if... You don't know if they're real or not, just DM me guys. I'm here to help. Uh, people help me when I have questions and you know answer them, so I'm just returning the favor, doing the same. If you guys like would like to see anything else reviewed, please let me know. Thinking about doing this Zoom tray, this is the Easter colorway, even though I've already done one. This one is just 
absolutely beautiful and I'm really, really thinking about it. Also gonna do a Star Wars review coming up soon, guys. And I think I'm gonna do my Bait Dr. Martins. If you'd like to see any of those or something else, please let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Out.